All right, so I'm gonna be doing a how-to install for the Rough Country Trifold Soft Cover on your Tacoma. All right, you first wanna lay it down across the back. And this is the back, so push this against the cab all the way. All right, next step is get under, underneath, find these. Little hooks and these go right into the bed, bed liner, whatever the hook system it's got here. So that makes it super easy too. So again, towards the back over here, loosen that to where you can't get in there and hook it underneath the bed rail or whatever you want to call that. And it might feel like it's hitting right here, which it is, preventing you from turning it. But the purpose of this is to pull it down. So you could just pull it down and tighten it at the same time. And it'll allow you to tighten it. And you want to get it as tight as you can without breaking it. But the more you tighten it, the more it seals all around. And there is a weatherproof seal on the whole liner you can see uh, right there yeah so nice weatherproof seal I'll probably still be adding some more but to each their own also because I'm recording I'm doing it with one hand but since it's a soft cover you could actually put your finger up here press down and it'll allow you to turn that a little bit easier just a little pro tip also, these are an option for those who don't have the bed rail, um, which most of the Tacomas do, but anyways, this option, in case you didn't have it, you would hook it up underneath, but for me, they'd just be dangling, and I can already imagine the annoyance of it hitting while I'm driving, hitting the brakes or whatever. Uh, so here's what I did. I just used that same rubber band that it came with and hooked it up. To itself up here so it's not dangling anymore uh, you could probably cut them off do whatever I don't know I just didn't feel like cutting it was the right move so you don't have to sacrifice those cool hooks I was able to keep them in there put them back in yeah and once you do that to both sides you simply unfold unfold and you'll see these uh, these clamps are here too but these will require the adapters to be slid in here, which they provide. So I'll show you how to do that. So on the beds, we have this little plastic. You press it down, you pull out. All right, you get the provided little spacer thing. You slide that in there. Boom. Provided bracket. You want to go there and use the washer and screws provided as well. Once you do the same thing on both sides, obviously, uh, you don't wanna fully tighten it just yet because uh, you wanna make sure you line it up with this hook. Oh, there we go. So obviously it's gotta be lined up here. And looks like Tighten it down because as you see it's gonna be perfectly in line to hook in here without hitting this lip. I'm gonna tighten it down and we'll lock it in. Right, once you do the same on both sides, you wanna drop this and you wanna just turn. Well, first you wanna measure it while it's closed like that to where it'll get right in there. Cause then when you bring it down is when it locks it in place. Boom. So you can go as tight as you like. Tighter is probably better, just not over tight. So you don't break anything or any clamps, but uh, tight is good for that weather seal I showed you earlier. Let's see if you can kind of see. Once you line it up, you get it right in there, and you bring it down, boom. Now all you gotta do is close your tailgate. 
and you are ready to roll. Yeah, I'll probably be adding some weatherproof seal. Looks pretty okay, but like there's some gaps. Oh, maybe not. I'll still add it just for the peace of mind, but boom. Looks really good. It's slim too. I just need to wash my truck. I hope you find this video helpful, and if you do, please like and subscribe for more.